Our Susan Candiati joins us now live from Everett. Susan, what do we know about the shooter's relationship uh, with his cousins? I mean, initially when we learned that these were friends, it was horrible enough, but this is now family. Any clues yet to the motive behind this tragedy? Good morning, Victor. You know, the grandfather of the, of the cousins who were injured in this uh, says, yes, indeed, they were related to the shooter and that they were all very close, that they hung out together, they lived close by, they even went to a school dance recently at which the suspected shooter, Jalen Freiberg, was named the homecoming prince. The grandfather can't explain what happened. He says he forgives the shooter for what happened and eventually would like to meet with his family. As for the motive, if authorities know what happened here, they're not saying. Might it have had something to do with a reported recent breakup with a girlfriend or a suspension from school? We simply don't know at this time. In the meantime, uh, at the school, uh, students were allowed to return on Saturday. They left flowers on the fence there and they were permitted to go inside the school and their classrooms to retrieve their belongings. The community is still reeling from what happened here and still trying to make sense of it with their families. I spoke with the mayor about that. I put my arms around them and hugged them because, you know, I, I hadn't done that on their way out the door to school that day. And, and I think, you know, you've got some families that that their kids aren't coming home and that's what comes through your mind is that you just want to love on them and hug them and then one of the things is just just to say hey if you need something to talk about don't hold it in and and, uh, and talk to us about it and, and at this time police have not yet officially released the name of the shooter or the teenage girl who was all, who was killed susan uh, Susan, it's Allison. A new teacher at the school we're hearing is being hailed a hero in all this. She apparently attempted to stop the shooter. Do you, do you know about that? Yes, the police have said that that's what happened, although they're not releasing any more details about that. We have reached out to the teacher uh, that they mentioned, but she said she didn't want to talk about it at this time and, in fact, even tweeted about that. So. We'll have to wait and get more details on that. But according to police, she did apparently try to stop him at what point? At one point. Okay, Allison. Sus Susan Candiotti, thanks.